Walked and drank all night, acted all alright, had no need to fight, tonight, tonight. Walked and drank all night, acted all alright, had no need to fight, tonight, tonight. Oh, because it's a work. Hi everyone, this is Will Pendry. Oh, hey. Our what's director. Up, what's up, guys? Yeah. The oh, Found it. Fuck you. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Another time in town. Um, another event with the security people. Um, it was actually from the Ikea. It was the neighbouring car park pit, which is quite strange that he was still telling us off. But I remember we were near enough ready to go home because somebody may have... Stacked it. Stacked it, yep. And that was that was funny. Um basically he came over and he was he was incredibly polite about it, like wasn't expecting it at all. And I was just thinking, Well, I can just talk my way out of this but then you and Lewis came up. See Will's a good babbler, and... um as you can probably tell already. <laughs> yeah. Um we're not. So me and Lewis are sort of just standing there like wondering how do we get out of this one? Yeah, I could probably I, I, ourselves I saw hit him and Lewis, like, picking up their boards. So I had mine on the ground, I was ready, but I could tell that they were just waiting to run and completely bolt. And I was like, guys, don't leave me. Don't leave me. We can talk our way out Our of this. plan was literally leave the slowest and the weakest of the group behind for the cameraman. <laughs> for the cameraman? For the, for the security guard? Wow. Okay. And that was that, that, that was well. Somebody's showing off for the camera now. But, um, <laughs> yep. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but, yeah, we had a couple dogs... Buggy. Go for Hello. normally me. I don't know why. <laughs> Jesus Christ, me. that's a dog. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Here in the UK, it's quite a niche um, activity opposed to in America, where it's actually quite mainstream. Like they have massive events, that, such as uh, the one in New York um, called the Broadway Bomb. It's. Um, basically a race starting from Central Park all the way to the end of Broadway at the Golden Ball statue. It's um, eight miles long and I think last year's one had over 12,000 people attend it. And because of this event, on that day, which is the 21st of October, it is illegal to ride a longboard in New York because of that event. Just on that day. So it's definitely got a larger impact, such as how the public react to it, how there's a much larger community, and just how much better it is over there. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, whenever we go up to Southampton, it's always a risk of being kicked out. That sort of adds the enjoyment of it, adds a bit of danger. Um, a few times we've been asked to leave and even had the police show up escorting us out, which has um, always been interesting. But to be fair with what we're given, we don't have much of a choice.
obviously when um, we do get taken out, we have to try and find somewhere else to go, which isn't always easy, especially when you're on a budget and you're the only one with a car. So it's um, complicated. Yeah, that's the way to put it. difficult because it's not very hilly, it's hard to find somebody to get some distance, get some speed, with either annoying no, you don't. You the love public it. or just falling over and hurting ourselves to be honest. <laughs> Best ambulance ever. You have the box coming up, right? Woo! 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 Yeah. Probably the reason that I do ride is it might sound a bit cringy, but basically when I'm riding down a hill I'm not focused on anything else. It's just that moment of emptiness. Like it keeps me away from uh, I've gotta pay for that, I've gotta get that fixed, I've got an assignment due in, it just sort of goes pretty much and that's why I do it <laughs>